Pale, are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? Uh. Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Mass Effect. Hopefully, the last one, but I can't guarantee that because I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! How do you get so to do that? It's fascinating. It is a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. What would this do? We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay is inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Cool. Uh, I still have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I think I need to go to the galaxy map for that. But I don't know. I don't I don't know anything about the first game. Um wait, how do you actually do that? How do I report to the council? I have no idea what I'm doing. Please help. Is it here somewhere? Like, this is where it should be, right? Why can't I make the call? Do I have to make Joker do it? But you have to touch the map first. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel Commander. Yep. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Finally. That may have taken a while. And we always go back to the same dock. The exact same spot. Extra detail there, right? Just to keep my FPS running. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. 
Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I hate politics. And politicians, for that matter. I hate being right. I thought they'd listen. That they'd see. You're an optimist, Skipper. Times like this, I'm glad I'm not. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go to President Huerta. I won't sit back and wait for the Reapers to start killing people. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I can keep a secret if you can. You better. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. Uh... Let's do that. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I want Liara because I want to use her biotics. But anyway, let me find where I'm going to. Okay, and where may Anderson be? I believe this machine has been tampered with, and someone is funneling credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. 
Um, Anderson, where may you be? Ah, oh, there we go. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Um... It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Uh... Okay, I'll get to the Normandy. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Okay. Uh, well, let's just do a few small things around here first, before I plunge into I don't know what. But yeah, let me just do a few small things first. Alright, well, let's go to Ilos. Uh, land. I have no idea what I'm doing in the game, still. Skipper? Don't you think we're a little past titles? We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. As I recall, the Captain dies in that poem. <laughs> Next time, I'll stick with Tennyson. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. I don't believe me yet. Believe me then, you're doing the right thing. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. 
I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. Something tells me it's not Liao anymore. Is my rank all you see when you look at me? No. I see a strong, passionate man. With a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. All right. This isn't a contest, Ash. This isn't an act, Shepard. But you'll learn. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> Would you roll your eyes if I said this is the first time in months I felt that all's right in the galaxy? <laughs> yes. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Okay. This is much more detailed than simple. Or it might be just because it's human, not alien. I don't know. Oh, the lag. The great lag. Oh boy, no good. Stealth systems? Fliz? Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh boy, what do I choose? Rex and Ashley. Right. I would like more combat strength, but that will have to do. Let's go. Oh, come on, that loading screen again.
before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. I wonder... If you were to equip the helmet, would it increase your armor? Because it makes it make sense, right? Uh, total destruction? I think that's the go. Ah. Okay. Total destruction of this door. Oh cool. It's not even firing with firing three. Yep. Uh I'll do that just just for the sake of it. Perimeter secured. Oh, he looks so much better with the helmet. Awesome. I'll take care of this. Ow. After a while of uh, dying, I have found a way around the problem. I don't like the sword throwers. They fight the sword But I'm heading somewhere and I'm not sure where. But it's ought to be better than fighting two amateurs on foot. I'll see where this leads. I took a turn. There's two amateurs right there, lying, waiting. I'm fucked. Again. Why do I have to go through here? There were two here. Why do they have to be two right there? How close? get to them. If I just, like, uh, sneak, maybe the sensors won't detect me. Oh! Go. Ashley, I did it. Okay, let's, let's get moving. Okay, I got to an elevator, finally. Um, that was a whole bunch of enemy. Just saying. But, uh, oh, that's actually a pretty cool elevator. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. And there's probably lots in here. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Save. Okay, I'll get on with this. Five seconds later, looking at the map, this does not look good. That does not look good. And I need to get across the whole thing. <laughs> I, I, I see how this game played. If you went down the right elevator, the first one, where there were only two amateurs, yeah, you wouldn't have to fight through all of these that are probably going to be there. This game's clever. 
because you would have ended up there, right? Well, I, I just got destroyed by the game and my laziness. But let's try it. Um, I will die, I know this for sure. Just watch me die, okay? I'll, I'll be mad, but just watch me die. Because this game is practically impossible. Awesome. Okay, there were a lot more there, so I can but... Yep. I don't even know what hit me. My health was fine. What hit me? I would like to know that. Anyway, carrying on trying the suicide mission. This is really the suicide mission. I don't know what Mass Effect 2 got, got the idea for, to name that, because this is the real suicide mission here. Oh, I'm gonna destroy it. Yes, yes, I call this trying to take it slow and actually trying to get somewhere and then dying to lag because I can't shoot straight. Oh my god, I hate this. But I won't be able to shoot him if I get too quick. If I get another gun. I'll try anyway. Boy, you're about to die. Boy, you have nothing. Boy, you will die. Let's try to try something like that. I don't know how useful that would be. I've lost shields! Oh, you know what I didn't do? right here. That's just one destroyer though. I mean, that's not even a destroyer, that's a normal kit. Yeah. That's a shop trooper, right? Not Come on, that had to be a headshot. Yeah. You saw me put that through him, right? So, after like 20 minutes of holding this position, I die because of some stupid lag. I hate this game so much. Can I just quit it? And I have to do all of this again? Fuck it. I really just want to quit it. <laughs> it's breaking me. It's, it's breaking me. This game is just so bad. Safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot All right. Be so they don't stopped. understand it, but because I now have a Prothean mind, I understand it. All right, where's that security panel? I just clicked on it, didn't I? There's something in the air here. Death is on the wind. It's a good place for killing. Yo, that's the security panel. Die. So you're telling me it's open now? I here long ago. Now it's time for a lot of death. I don't like how dark this is because I see nothing. No, it only took me a few hours to do this, and there's nothing here, pretty much. Wait, did I actually do anything? Okay, I did override the security.
At least I can do this in the vehicle. That would, that would, that's gonna make life so much easier. Shit. I'm about to walk out into those amateurs. Fuck. 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 I think this saved. I hope it saved. It should have saved, right? back down crap right well what do I do do I sprint and probably die or do I head back down and take a really long way round like a really long way round Death is there, another one there, I take something like that. And let's take a chance. Nice shoot. Yeah. yeah, but it does no damage. Where's the second one gone? As soon as I step out of there, the way I'm gonna die. Okay. Let's do something a little bit more like that. Three, two, one, sprint. Come on, come on. Don't die, please. Oh, I actually did it. Two boats can take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker. Okay, um That's good enough now, right? Now let's actually... Let's, let's go in there the right way around. Yes, yes, a very long tunnel. A very long tunnel indeed. This place is a bit creepy. I don't think Zern's behind this. Oh. Journal? So, what do I do? Okay, I see. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? 
I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Well, that's a good story. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor into the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. 
the personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Okay. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I leveled up for talking. Epic. But, uh, I'm gonna, like, an episode here.